So everybody wants to know, will there be a Lakers and Celtics rivalry pack in the works? I hope so. I hope so. I think the last uh, championship series was, uh, I want to say, uh, 2010, I think, or maybe before that. But now that the Lakers have succeeded at beating the Celtics, uh, you know, the domination that the Celtics had all those years no longer exists. So you're finding more parity now throughout the league where I don't think you're going to find that particular rivalry uh, as it was in the 80s. You know, you got Miami now, you got San Antonio. Uh, so you have a, you know, like a plethora of teams now that are capable of winning uh, on, a, on, a, on a yearly basis. So could you tell us some of your favorite New Balance models, personal? Well, my first one was the Mesh uh, in 1982. Um, not exactly sure what the number was. I think it was a 710. Uh, it was very light and it was made out of mesh. I really loved that shoe. Uh, it felt like I had nothing on. The second year we had the three quarter mid boot, which was kind of a low cut, uh, which really, uh, you know, took away some of the anxiety of the Achilles. A lot of shoes that were rubbing up against the Achilles. I really liked that shoe. It was very light and, uh, explosive. Uh, that one was, was really cool. Then the, then the 740 where the Express came out. And the shoe that I won most of my championships in, I think was the 790. I think that was the shoe that kind of really, you know, uh, made my name, uh, during the 80s. So, uh, I enjoyed all of them, including the running shoes. Uh, but I would have to say the 790 was the shoe that I performed well in. Okay. So if you were in the league now and you could play in any sneaker, which kicks would it be? I'd probably go back to, uh, you know, the 790 shoe. Um, it was the most durable shoe, the most, you know, long-lasting shoe, and the shoe that I was most successful in. Uh, I had no injuries in the shoe. It really absorbed a lot of shock that I needed uh, to absorb in my, you know, uh, shin splints and my knees. So I, I would go with that shoe. Okay. So do you ever consider how new sneaker technology could have helped you plan back in your career? Well, I had the best. I mean, I had the I had the Mercedes of basketball shoes. So, I mean, everyone else was uh, you know suffering from foot injuries, and the shoe was well built. Uh, I remember going into the manufacturing and understanding what polyurethane was and how important it was to prevent injuries to the to the knees and the ankles and, and things like that. So, New Balance was so far advanced in in the way they make their shoes uh, that I felt like I was uh, ahead of the game even back then. Okay, so do you follow the NBA star player signature sneakers now? Not really. Um, I, I, you know, I mean, I see them out there. I know Nike's still big, but you know, I'm I'm on I, I'm I'm on board with shoes that are made well, and so I've never really looked at any other shoe. I mean, I think I wore New Balance maybe a year at the end of my uh, uh, career. I think I wore one other shoe, but um, you know, when it comes to comfort, durability. And what they do in the community, that's most important, uh, the message that they send. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't change that. Okay, so of course we have to ask, uh, what are your thoughts on Michael Jordan sneakers um, still having the prominence now that they, you know, that they have today compared to it being you know, how it was back in the day? Well, I mean, Michael Jordan, it's Michael Jordan. Uh, I mean, he's marketable, uh, has a huge following. Um, and, you know, it was an exciting time during the 90s. I mean, he got one six championships. So the fact that they can market him, you know, that's a big plus. I still think New Balance is the best shoe made. Uh, I, I'm, and I mean, I'm watching games. I'm watching foot injuries. And I'm watching uh, a lot of different shoes being worn uh, by, by a variety of players. And I think that has a lot to do with, you know, what's going on with those foot injuries. Um, I never wore Nike, so I don't know anything about their shoe, but I, I know Michael Jordan. I know he's really marketable, and I think that's where the advantage is for them. Did you foresee your sneakers getting retro years from now and still having the same effect that they do today? I did. I mean, it was a good era in the 80s, uh, in a great town, you know, Boston, and then the Lakers coming in and me being on that team playing in the shoe. Uh, it was just a matter of time. Um, you know, because it was a very popular shoe in the 80s. A lot of people wore them uh, globally. So I, I was kind of hoping. And so when I got the call from uh, Jim and Chris Davis uh, that they were interested, I was like, where do I need to be and when?
Kobe Bryant being like the name of the Lakers right now, does he ever, you know, give you guys any of his signature sneakers, any of the older players? I, I, I wouldn't wear them if he gave them to me, no. Uh, you know, I'm a New Balance guy. I, I don't want Kobe's shoes. He wants my shoes. 